There are many shows that are meant to amaze you. And then there are shows that are meant to go and make you scratch your head because you don't know how these shows exist. A great example of this is 90 Day Fiancé, where two people have 90 days to go and plan a marriage and see if they are really made for each other. Because if they don't, one of them gets deported because they're an immigrant. Welcome to television. The show has had a lot of things said about it over the years. But there are some things you likely don't know about the series, so allow us to show you some of the secrets. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Number 7. Do they get paid? The question arises because of how reality TV works. While certain game shows and reality shows like Big Brother or Survivor make it clear they don't get paid unless they win certain challenges or the overall event, other shows, like the ones in the style of 90 Day Fiancé, are known to pay those who are on camera because they're with the film crews just about all the time and thus they deserve pay. But this is where things get a little tricky, because on one hand, the American art of the couple apparently does get some pay, but former people on the show say it's very little, whereas the immigrants in the relationship is said to get no pay at all. Same with the family and friends who might appear in the episode. This is arguably very controversial for very basic reasons, that 90 Day Fiancé is one of the biggest hits on TLC, and they make a ton of money off of it so why don't they give these couples some money to thank them for that? Greed more than likely. Number 6. Marriage isn't the end If you were to watch 90 Day Fiancé, you would no doubt feel that if a couple's marriage goes through, then they are granted the K-1 visa they're aiming for and their path to citizenship is over. But anyone who knows America knows that this couldn't be further from the truth. Getting a visa and citizenship is a long and tiring process to the extent that even if these couples do get married, it's not over for the one trying to get the citizenship. They have many other papers to file, hoops to jump through, and much more. So don't let the show fool you into thinking that everything is fine once they're married. This story doesn't end there. It's just a major bump in the road to getting full citizenship. Number 5. Unscripted When it comes to reality television, there is little doubt that certain shows are skewed or rigged in certain ways to try to make it feel a certain way, or look a certain way, or even act a certain way. A great example of this is Big Brother, which has been exposed at times for having the cast do things like go to bed at the same time for a camera shot, and then they get up once the cameras stop rolling. 90 Day Fiancé is no different, but not in the way that you would expect. They don't force these couples to get together, that's on them, nor is their arguments scripted. However, many who have been on the show have noted that the producers have tailored conversations and even fed lines to them in order to get a certain result. Some have even stated that the whole scenes of the couples are omitted to try and make it seem like they're unhappy, when they're really not. This is indeed one of the big controversies about the show, because it makes it hard to tell at times if these couples are really bad for one another, or whether the footage was made to look that way. Number 4. The fans are willing to protest people on the show before you go off the tangent about over-emotional fans, hear us out on this one. The point of 90 Day Fiancé in many aspects is to show people the power of love and how it can push through just about everything. But sometimes, the couples on the show are so clearly not made for one another that shows in various ways and gets the fans angry. A great example of this is in Season 4 of the show, when a woman named Nicole was trying to get married to her fiancé, but literally treated him like dirt. She was basically performing abuse on him, and the fans weren't having it one bit. They were so angry that she was being shown on TV that they went to Change.org to get her off the show, stating that the show was normalizing domestic violence. So no, the fans weren't over-emotional, they were just trying to save a guy's life in a way. Number 3. Bad Histories Another major reason that 90 Day Fiancé is so controversial in the eyes of many is that the series is known to cast criminals. Now, you might think that they don't know about that when they were put on the show, but that's not true. In fact, every couple has vetted a background and checked to make sure that everything is on the up and up, but they apparently don't care about how they are in terms of their criminal past. As such, multiple people on the show have not only had criminal records, but have been arrested after the show aired. Some think that having these kinds of people would add intrigue and ratings to things. Number 2. TLC has been sued by the cast. Remember what we said about the disparaging pay on the 90 Day Fiancé? Well, that has come back to bite TLC a bit, when it was clear to certain cast members they were being used to make money, even though they weren't getting any of it, or a very small piece of it. 
So because of that, multiple former cast members have tried to sue TLC for this. Here's the rub. Because TLC are no fools, they put a clause in their contract from being sued for certain things, and thus the suits were thrown. Number 1. Fake Promos This one shouldn't be too much of a surprise, but it needs to be said regardless. Multiple people have spoken out about TLC's practices during 90 Day Fiancé, mainly because they are known to stage things as we noted earlier, but that just doesn't go to the episodes that air. That also goes to the promos for the episodes themselves. In one case, a woman noted that TLC had her fake a major outburst for a promo, one that included her throwing a chair in anger. Yet, if you watch the episode she was in, no such scene happened. Other fans have noticed similar things with certain episodes, where a promo would have drama to hype it up, yet it wasn't in the episode at all, further showing the lengths that TLC will go to try and hype up this series. So there you go, everyone, a look behind the curtain of 90 Day Fiancé and what really goes on behind the scenes that you might not know about. Does this alter your vision of the show and how you perceive the events in each episode? Do you feel more inclined to watch it now, or are you going to stop? How much longer do you feel the show can reasonably go? Let us know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe, and we'll see you next time on the channel.